Hundreds of millions of people around the world using some of the most popular social media sites, Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp, have been forced offline in a major global blackout. It's one of the longest outages, already lasting several hours, and Facebook's share price has plummeted by nearly 5%. It's not known what's caused the problems or when they'll be fixed. Our consumer affairs correspondent, Coletta Smith, has the full story. It's a trilogy of companies with one owner, and this afternoon it was the same message about them all. Facebook is down, Instagram isn't working, and WhatsApp went down too. The fact that all three companies have been impacted suggests that it's something right at the heart of that social media giant that's gone horribly wrong. Facebook has servers everywhere, all over the world, to ensure that the service it, it delivers is... Uh, you know, of course, optimized and is, is a good service to the users. So the fact that it's global suggests that it's not a problem with its server system. It could well be a problem at the heart of the technological engine that runs all those servers. Many within the tech industry think it's a problem with the domain name system. That's effectively the internet's address book, and something has been wiped at Facebook, so when you click an app or type the name, users aren't being sent anywhere. Yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare us trying to find each other. Yeah, inconvenient. Have to go back to text. Yeah. I'm so glad it's out, and I think the world would be a much better place if it doesn't come back on. It's been really annoying. Obviously, like, I haven't been able to contact my mum because she lives in India and we're not like texting and calling. WhatsApp is rapidly replacing texts and regular calling, particularly in the developing world, as a much cheaper way to communicate. And millions of small companies here and around the globe depend on Facebook to conduct their entire business. Today's outage is huge in scale, but similar events have happened before. In July, problems with the domain name system meant that Airbnb, HSBC, Bank and PlayStation were among a raft of sites to go down for hours. But today, with the biggest social media players down, other platforms like TikTok and Twitter are seizing their moment in the limelight. Coletta Smith, BBC News. Let's get more from our North America business correspondent, Michelle Fleury, who's in Boston. Michelle, and this outage, it's gone on for quite a few hours now, it well and truly has broken the internet. Yeah, I mean, we think this outage has gone on for, what, around five hours at this point? Now, look, they happen from, some, from time to time, but typically these problems are fixed very quickly. So an outage this long is highly unusual. And there are going to be many frustrated people tonight, in part because billions of people use these services. Facebook has nearly two billion daily users. Instagram, I think, has nearly a billion. The damage to the company was reflected in the share price, which closed down nearly 5%. But even at the start of the day, it was already lower because Facebook has been hit by a series of damning reports from a whistleblower accusing the company of prioritizing profits over misinformation and the health and safety of teens. Now, that whistleblower, Francis Haugen, is due to appear before lawmakers on Tuesday to testify about Facebook's impact on teens. We've already heard one senator compare Facebook to big tobacco in the way that they draw in teenagers uh, and cause them harm. So a bad week already for this company. Okay, Michelle, thank you. Michelle Fleury there live in Boston.